Well, it was a sunny start to the day, to the day I should say, and yeah. then a stormy afternoon. Yeah, take a look at this video. It's the lapse video as dark clouds mm. moved into downtown Milwaukee. We saw plenty of rain, but nothing severe. That almost looks like a scene out of a movie, Michael Very Fish. ominous. I know, it was pretty amazing, and all these storms pretty much were cellular, meaning it was raining in one spot, and then there was sun in a different spot, and they moved through in cells. They were scattered about the area, and the problem with that is, is I think some folks wanted some more rain than they saw. Notice on our Doppler radar map here, there are some spots that barely got any rain, like parts of Walworth County going into Kenosha. There's a strip here with not much at all, but then there are other folks. I was watching Sheboygan County. They were getting plenty of rain at times today. Some pretty good storms rolling through there. And Doppler estimated one and a half inches, maybe up to an inch in parts of Washington, uh, southern to uh, middle Ozaukee County, maybe about three quarters of an inch. Again, these are Doppler radar estimates. And again, look at the little stripes. Those were those individual cells rolling on through. Not everyone saw the beneficial rain that they wanted. Now let's talk some temperatures because we have some changes on the way. If you've opened up your windows, it's a good idea for tonight. Temperatures looking pretty nice. 80 should be our average high. We popped up to 84 today, and that was that extra energy that those storms needed with just the right shear that some of them got pretty strong. But now that whole system's through, and look what's on the back side of this front. We have lower 70s, middle 70s. That's on the way for tomorrow. Current temperatures, though, we have 61 Waukesha, West Bend, Port Washington, 64 in Milwaukee, and not only that, our dew points have dropped to pretty much the upper 50s here and as far as tomorrow, maybe even middle 50s at times. So it's going to be a comfortable dry day, but not a great pool or lake day. Unfortunately, we've seen plenty of those this year. So satellite radar, there goes our low pressure system. The daytime heating popped up more of those showers and thunderstorms. Now here's a look at Viper HD. We were holding on to a couple little showers, but we've lost that daytime heating and that low pressure is pulling away, which means we're pretty much quiet. There's a little bit of ground clutter off to the north, but nothing that you have to worry about. Ground clutter means things are dry. Now, as far as Monday is concerned, you're going to notice the temperatures below normal, 6 to 12 degrees below normal. A couple fair weather clouds, but there goes the daytime heating. There goes that low, and there goes the rain. That's done for tonight. We're going to clear out the sky. It's going to be cooler and breezy for tomorrow. You'll notice the difference, but we're going to keep it dry. But then here's Tuesday. Weak little low pressure getting closer could bring us an afternoon shower or thunderstorm, but tonight we're going to dry things out. Cooler, breezy, 58 degrees. Decreasing clouds tomorrow. You start off with sun, then a couple fair weather clouds. Nothing that you have to worry about. Breezy, cooler, 73. Real comfortable to get work done outside. Tomorrow night, mostly clear, 57. And then for Tuesday, increasing clouds. Maybe an afternoon shower, but the morning is looking all right the way it sits. And as far as the next 10 days, actually Tuesday all the way through Friday, there will be chances of a couple afternoon showers or a thunderstorm, but the best chance of that going to be Tuesday and Friday. And maybe by next weekend, we keep things dry and close to average. Dry weekend would be nice because, of course, we haven't <laughs> seen many of those. No, we got so that would be nice. Especially state for fair. State Fair. Yeah. Yes, and for State Fair. Got to eat those cream puffs.